Well, here now, former State Department Senior Advisor Christian White. And Christian, always great to see you. I want to go right to something the Wall Street Journal editorial, bo editorial board wrote. They said, quote, the bigger problem in this, and they're talking about the MiG jets now, the bigger problem is the message this fiasco sends to Mr. Putin about NATO. Instead of deterring Mr. Putin, Mr. Biden is letting the Russian deter the U.S. Your thoughts on how this is playing out and what it means when it comes to these fighter jets stuck in Poland right now? Well, you know, I think it is a poor messaging. It's unfortunate that this leaked out. There is a reason a lot of things that go on in war are conducted covertly. When we supplied the Afghan resistance fighting the Soviets in the 1980s, we were very careful to buy AK-47s from the Chinese. These theoretically were weapons that could have been picked up on the battlefield. We didn't ship them stuff that said made in the USA, mm -hmm. although later when we provided Stinger missiles, it became more apparent, but still had the veneer of deniability. If we become too obvious in what we provide, and this, as Catherine pointed out, is what Poland was afraid of, that might encourage Russia to start uh, uh, targeting us directly, to bring us directly into combat. What I object to most, in addition to the fact that this was aired in the public, is once again, we are creating moral hazard. We are doing the job that Europe ought to be doing. Europe has 400 million people. It has a $21 trillion economy. And I have no idea why the United States, once again, has to be the tip of the spear. Well, apparently, Putin is also trying to recruit other people to do his work. Apparently, he's going to volunteer fighters from the Middle East to help with this war. Take a listen to this, Christian. We are getting a lot of requests from various volunteers from various countries who want to come to Luhansk and Donetsk People's Republics and join the, as they see it, liberation movement. The majority of them are from Middle East countries, over 16,000 applications. Regarding the gathering mercenaries from around the world for Ukraine, we see them. The Western sponsors of the Ukrainian regime do not keep it secret. They do it openly, disregarding international law. So, if you see people who want voluntarily, without payment, to come and help people living in Donbas, well, we need to meet their efforts and help them to reach the combat zone. All right, Christian, really quickly, what do you make of this? Is this a, a thing? Is this propaganda? What's going on with these Middle Eastern fighters? It's mostly propaganda. Russia does have some allies from the fighting it did in Syria. And of course, there are plenty of Russians in Syria, even if they had taken off the flags off of their uniforms, they might be veterans who would be good at fighting in Kiev. I don't think other Syrians are going to sign up, nor do I think the dictator of Syria is going to let them come. Uh, Russia has some experience from Chechens. Uh, those are, of course, Russians who, who could bring their, their skill to fighting there. But I think this is mostly propaganda to counter the fact that there's so much international support for mm. Ukraine. Interesting. Chris Christian Wyden, always appreciate you having, on, having you on. Thanks for being here.